I'm giving her all she's got, Captain. If I push it any harder, the whole thing will blow. The hand up! Hey guys, what's going on? It's Cameron here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how you can improve your ping. I know a lot of you guys have commented on my recent video on uh, improving FPS that you're struggling with lag or high ping. So today we're going to talk about network optimization. This is also important for console players, so stay tuned if you are on a console, although a huge amount of this does apply to only PC players. It's important to also listen to this first part if you're a console player because it will help you immensely. Real quick guys, if you're brand new to my channel, I do how-to videos, I do guides, I do tips and tricks. If that's your type of thing for Fortnite, make sure to hit that subscribe button. So to really help you guys improve your ping, there's going to be several steps throughout this video. But the first thing I do want to talk about is network optimization. One of the most important ways that are really basic to improve your network configuration and this may seem like really secondhand and super simple. Just make sure that you have a network cable plugged in, an ethernet cable. The best way you can, you can improve your network consistency and improve your ping is by plugging a direct ethernet cable from your router or modem straight into your system. Whether you're on console or on PC, this will mean that you get the very fastest network possible. A lot of people think just because they have really high speed internet, like 1000 gig, uh, 1000 megabyte fiber speed that they're okay over Wi-Fi. This doesn't always mean that just because you have a high speed on your internet that you have really you know, good uh, latency with your network. The only way to make sure of that is by plugging in an ethernet cable. So for the first step, it may seem like a no brainer to a lot of people, but it is super necessary. So I'll try to keep it as short as possible. This mostly applies to people who have their ping jumping around a lot and it just seems inconsistent. They have like 30 ping one game and maybe 90 ping the next game. This will be probably the most obvious fix to a lot of you, but if you go into your menu here, you'll notice where it shows under this gear icon, your uh, server region, your matchmaking region. You do wanna find whichever one has the lowest ping available. You'll notice mine seems to be right in the middle between 70 and NA West, 76 and NA East, meaning it's right in the middle between these two servers. But for a lot of people, you might be on auto and it's jumping you between different servers. So just make sure it's selected on whichever region has the lowest milliseconds. So for these next couple steps, huge shout out to Pink. He's actually a YouTube content creator that does similar videos to this. He discovered a lot of cool things about network optimization such as being able to change your DNS server at any given point. So what is a DNS server? It's basically the server that your internet goes through to connect to any other server, like the Fortnite servers, for example. So you can actually optimize this and choose an even faster server than you might have by default. So how do we do this? Well, first we need to open your console. So make sure to click this little magnifying glass down at the bottom and type in console. Once you type that in, you'll see it says command prompt here. You'll need to right click that at the top and run as administrator. Once you have this up, it'll show a C followed by your windows and then whatever system you're logged into. All you're gonna do is type ping followed by 8.8.8.8. .8 That's four eights with three periods beneath them. This is the Google DNS server and what it'll do is it'll check what the time lapse is between pinging to the server and to your device. So basically it's, it's showing here we get an average of 20 milliseconds. The next one we're going to type in is the secondary Google DNS server which might be faster so type again ping followed by space 8.8.4 oops 4.4 .4 and then enter that again, it'll test that one. And basically we're just uh, comparing it here to see which one has the fa fastest uh, latency between each of these. So as you can see, the first one still is superior with 19 milliseconds. Another DNS that we can test is ping 1.1.1.1. I believe this is what it is by default, but you should test it anyways just to compare which one is, is best. So as you can see on mine, it, it's more or less the same, not really any faster. There's another one we can try, which is a secondary. It's ping 1.0.0.1. And so after you test all those, you're gonna find out of these four, which one's the fastest. 
So for this next part, you'll just have to follow along. Now that we've identified the fastest DNS servers, you're gonna click on this little magnifying glass again, type in network. You're gonna click on network status here at the top. Once you have that up, you need to select ethernet on the left hand side. Way over here on the right hand side, you'll see the top link of change adapter options. Go ahead and click that. That'll show this window here. You'll see ethernet. We're gonna right click on that and go to properties. Under properties, we need to click on internet protocol version four. We need to click properties again. And in here, we can actually choose what DNS server we, we wanna use. We can also choose an IP address, but all we're concerned with right now is the DNS server. So this is what we're gonna enter from our console that we found the fastest ping servers for. And once you got them in here, um, actually for the alternate DNS server, make sure that's 8.8.4.4. .4. The other secondary one is 1.0.0.1. .1. So after you do that, you're just gonna hit okay. And that's all you have to do. Feel free to close out of that. That will help edge your ping just a little bit better to make it slightly faster, especially if your default was way slower than this. Another really easy step that you guys can do that may actually help solve a lot of network issues, whether that's high ping or just stuttering in game with, with lag. Um, come down here to this magnifying glass, type in device manager. When you open that, you'll get this little network screen. Uh, we're gonna go under network adapters. So you'll drop that down. You need to find whichever one is your, uh, your Wi-Fi adapter. So that for me is this Intel dual band wireless AC. So we click on that. Um, we're actually gonna click on properties. And if you go under driver here, we're just gonna go ahead and update driver. You can go ahead and search automatically for updated driver software. This may actually end up fixing a lot of people's issues if they haven't kept their drivers up to date. After it's done doing that, and if you needed to download whatever driver pops up in there, go ahead and close out of that and you're good to go. Another option that may help greatly reduce your, your delay in game, whether that's high ping or just lag in general, is by actually removing the Windows Update Optimizer. By default, your computer is withholding about 20% bandwidth for things like Windows updates, drivers updates, just any updates in general your computer deems necessary while you're playing Fortnite. Well, the problem with this is that reserved bandwidth can actually cause you to lag a bit in game. So just removing that all together and doing updates manually is much, much better for a gamer. So to do that, you're gonna come down to this little magnifying glass once again. You're gonna type in run. It's gonna give you this small window here. And in this window, you're going to type in gpedit.msc, just like that. And once you open that, you'll get this little window here. You'll notice there's a bunch of tabs on the left hand side. We're going to click on administrative templates under a computer configuration. Then we're going to click on network. And in here, we're going to look for QoS packet scheduler. Once you open that, you'll see an option here where it says limit reservable bandwidth. We're gonna click on that as well. Once you click on that, you'll see where it says not configured in the top left. You need to select enable. None of this will actually apply unless you click enable here. But then it shows here that it's 80% is what you're allowed to use. Um, now we need to remove that and go to zero and click apply and then okay. So what this does is it means that there won't be any background running updates or anything that's causing your game to run slower than normal, which can happen in a lot of cases here. So that tip should have helped a lot in general as far as your ping goes. So guys, this next part, totally optional, and I say it's optional because it'll take a lot of time, but in the description, I'll have a link to this TCP optimizer. It's just a little, app widget that you can run that basically optimizes your network even further. I just tested this out a couple days ago and actually did find that it saved me like 15 ping. So it was quite a big difference if you ask me. So all you have to do is download it in the link down below. You'll need to run it as administrator. And so once you pull that up, I would just recommend copying these settings. These have been copied from uh, somebody who's well versed in this application. His name is Pink on YouTube. And uh, as you can see, you, there's all these different settings available. 
you'll need to click custom here to be able to change them. Make sure that you set all these to disabled on the right hand side. So I would just copy exactly how I have this here and make sure that you have your connection speed at the top. If you're not sure what your connection speed is, go to speedtest.net and just run a quick speed test just to double check what your speed is. If it's anything lower than 100 megabytes, you need to set that down to whatever, um, you know, whatever that is. The next thing you're gonna copy is everything in this advanced tab. As you can see, there's a lot of numbers, a lot of things that say enabled and disabled. So just copy all this as well. Again, when I did this, it saved me like 10 or 15 ping, which was super cool. I was pleasantly surprised when I tried this out myself. If at any point this does hinder it, although it should improve your ping, just go to here where it says Windows Default and Apply Changes. It just resets everything that was done. Once you apply the changes with the custom settings, you'll need to restart your PC for it to all take effect. If you guys have done all of that and you guys are serious about improving your ping, then it's time for a pay to win option. This will absolutely increase your ping in Fortnite. It has really good reviews. I'm not sponsored in any way by anything in this video. So when I say exit lag works, it really does. I'm not partnered with them. But you can go there, you can start a free three day trial, um, which is kind of nice. It works for not only Fortnite, but tons of other games. And what it does is it just works a little bit better in terms of optimizing your network. It chooses a, like a closer server, I guess a server that exit lag has, and it can really help reduce your ping even more. So again, if none of this worked, it's time for a pay to win option. And that's, that's why I did want to give you at least one other option that I know is proven to work. So yeah, I would just go to exitlag.com. You guys can take a quick look at that. So yeah, guys, that is basically everything. I hope all this has improved your ping uh, some way, shape, or form. If you guys have drastically lowered your ping, let me know what you guys are getting compared to what you guys had before. After you guys have taken care of all this, just know that you are capable of great things. And I hope you the best in 2021. I hope you guys create something really special this year. But again, as always, it's been your guy Cameron. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.